Hello and welcome to the next part of the project Stargate. In today's video uh, we will print all of the parts uh, from the gate and assemble them together. Hopefully everything works as intended. So without further ado, let's go straight into it. And here are uh, all the parts for the for the gate itself. Though I just realized when I uh, placed them here that I somewhere lost two of my chevron pieces. I have no idea where and when. I thought I have all of them. But it doesn't really matter, uh, I will assemble it uh, anyway and uh, print those two after that. I don't think it would be uh, such a problem. Uh, anyway, I already did one thing, I already attached uh, one of the pieces uh, to, to the half of the gate simply to see if it, uh, well, if it holds as uh, intended, uh, which, it, which it does. So now uh, here is the inner ring. I don't think ah, yeah, it's visible. As you can see, the symbols came out pretty nicely. Uh, this is the raw print, uh, meaning there is no color applied. Uh, I intend to assemble it anyway and uh, apply uh, the color right later. So I will now try to assemble it as it is supposed to be assembled. So the two halves are together. I unfortunately was forced to use uh, the glue. It turned out that the Linkage was way too short, uh, sorry, uh, the diameter was way, way too small and I wasn't actually <laughs> able to put it through because it, well, break every time. Uh, but well, it's not such a big deal. I glue those two halves together and now we can continue. So uh, first I will insert the inner ring. So it's inside and now we will insert every single back chevron right into this right into this very slot. So this hole the bot the upper one will go inside. So one it and nine okay all of them are on their places now i will turn it like that now we have to attach all those middle parts so they have two holes uh, as you can see yeah and they will come into those holes here. Hopefully everything will be okay. Okay. That's one. Those are all of them, and now I will attach those uh, panels simply because I don't want the inner ring to f f fall.
Now I will attach the back panels. Okay. All panels are now attached. Now, this would be a little problematic for my fat fingers. I have to insert inside each opening with the hole this it's not even visible <laughs> uh, this feeling that won't be easy that won't be easy at all but I will have to manage uh, okay yeah well actually inserting it inside is easy but it doesn't hold there so I uh, once again have to unfortunately use the glue, glue so I will skip it that part right now and try to finish those uh, those chevrons so here we have this this small part which goes through the hole inside a chevron and attach everything together but ooh, as you can see it's not really big and well fortunately it goes inside pretty smoothly and everything fits together really nicely so as you can see one chevron is done okay I will finish the rest even though I have only seven faces of the chevrons Okay, so here are all the chevrons done, except of course those two on the bottom. Now I will glue the rest of the paneling and it should be all. Okay, all of them are now glued together. Yeah, I am not really happy that I had to use the glue, but on the other hand, I am now aware of the problem. And what I really need to do uh, is to redesign those front and back panels and basically not leave the opening there because it's not, it's not really necessary. So, well, yeah. Anyway, that's the gate really assembled uh, without those two chevrons, as I said, but uh, I guess no, not, it's not an issue. As you can see, the inner ring 
you can still easily rotate so well this is it for this video uh, in the next one I will try to well paint it and see uh, how it looks painted even though I have to say it looks great even now when it's unpainted it looks kinda like the gate from the movie but I would uh, really love uh, to try at least to paint it the great, th great thing is that I still can at least hopefully disassemble it so uh, if needed for the process of painting there should be no problem Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, I hope you liked it. I really enjoyed assembling it together. And that would be all for now. So, bye-bye.